Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about redox reactions and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to rules for assigning and steps for calculating oxidation numbers. So let's see what other questions we'll be covering in this video. The first question is calculate the oxidation number of the following elements in their respective compounds, chromium and potassium dichromate, phosphorus in phosphoric acid and nitrogen in ammonium ion. So let's see. Calculate the oxidation number of chromium in potassium dichromate. You can see here I've written the rules. Along with the rules we need to follow the steps. So as for the step one, first of all we need to write the oxidation number of the individual elements of the compound. So this is potassium, this is chromium, this is oxygen. The oxidation number of the potassium will be plus one because this is a group one element that is an alkali metal. So it will be having the oxidation state or oxidation number of plus one. And we will be taking the oxidation number of chromium as X here because uh, we need to find that and the oxidation number of oxygen will be minus two. This is as per the rule four. The oxidation number of oxygen is minus two. This is the usual oxidation number. Now as per the step two, we need to write the sum of oxidation number of all the elements. That is, the oxidation number of potassium is plus one into two atoms of potassium plus the oxidation number of chromium we have taken as X into two atoms of chromium and the oxidation number of oxygen is minus two into seven atoms of oxygen. So this is two plus two X minus 14. So this will come out to be two X minus 12. Now as for the uh, step three, we need to check whether this potassium dichromate is a neutral compound or a polyatomic ion. As there is no net charge on the potassium dichromate, so this is a neutral compound and uh, as per the step four, we will write the net charge on the potassium dichromate that is zero on the right hand side and the sum of the oxidation numbers on the left hand side. And as per the step five, we will do mathematical calculations to get the missing oxidation number. That is 2x minus 12 equals to zero, 2x equals to 12, x equals to 12 divided by two, so x will be equals to plus six. So the oxidation number of the chromium in potassium dichromate is plus six. Next question. Calculate the oxidation number of phosphorus in phosphoric acid. So the first step, write the oxidation number of the individual atoms. So the oxidation number of the hydrogen uh, will be plus one. This is as per the rule three and as per the rule six. Rule three says that in non-metals the oxidation number of hydrogen is plus one and as per the rule six, in covalent compounds the non-metal with higher electronegativity has negative oxidation number and the non-metal with lower electronegativity has positive oxidation number. So the electronegativity of hydrogen is far less as compared to the phosphorus and the oxygen so it will have a positive oxidation number and as per the rule 3 it will be plus 1. For phosphorus we need to find the oxidation number so we will take it as X and the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. This is as per the rule 4. So now the second step, we need to write the sum of the oxidation number of all the elements. So this will come out to be uh, oxidation number of hydrogen into three atoms of hydrogen, then the oxidation number of phosphorus into one atom of phosphorus, and uh, then uh, oxidation number of oxygen into number of atoms of oxygen. So this is three plus X minus eight. So this will come out to be X minus five. As per the uh, step three, uh, there's phosphoric acid is a neutral compound. So as per the step four, we'll write the net charge on the phosphoric acid, which is zero on the right hand side and the sum of their 
oxidation numbers on the left hand side and on calculating as per the step 5 we'll get the missing oxidation number that is x minus 5 equals to 0 x will be equals to plus 5 so the oxidation number of phosphorus in phosphoric acid is plus 5 next calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen in uh, ammonium ion so as per the step 1 we'll write the individual oxidation numbers. Here, uh, in this case, uh, we will take X as the oxidation number of nitrogen and the oxidation number of hydrogen will be plus one. This is, again, as per the rule three and as per the rule six. The second step is to write the sum of the oxidation numbers will be X into one atom of nitrogen plus one into four atoms of hydrogen. This is X plus four. Now, as for the rule three, we need to check whether this compound is neutral or a polyatomic ion. We can see here the net charge on the ammonium is plus, and if no numeric value is given, it has to be one. So the overall charge on the ammonium ion is plus one. So as per the step four, we will write the overall charge on the ammonium ion on the right hand side, that is plus one, and the sum of the oxidation numbers on the left hand side. And as per the step five, we just need to do mathematical calculations to get the missing oxidation number. Uh, that is x equals to uh, plus 1 minus 4, so x will be equals to minus 3. So the oxidation number of nitrogen and ammonium ion is minus 3. If you want to uh, check uh, there's oxidation number, then we can just do the simple verification. That is, left hand side should be equals to right hand side. So uh, if I substitute the value of x in uh, this equation, that will come out to be minus 3 plus 4. This will come out to be plus 1. And on the right hand side, we have plus 1. So as the left hand side is equal to right hand side, so this verifies our answer. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, traselearning.com. Have a great day.